What's up guys, Ed Ricker here, and today is an epic moment in time. Hi, uh, I was wondering if your facility was running the FAA Aeronautical Knowledge Test today uh, for a SUAS pilot. I think I'm ready. <laughs> awesome, I'll see you at one. So for those of you who don't know, the uh, FAA Aeronautical Knowledge Test is required if you want to become a certified commercial pilot with a small unmanned aerial system rating. So since I got the drone and I have a video business, I really want to use the drone for my business. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been taking the study course, the UAV Coach Drone Pilot Ground School. And uh, it's been a really, really awesome program to help me kind of get prepared for what I need to do. You have all these awesome topics, drone laws and FAA regulations, weather and micrometeorology, national airspace systems, drone flight operations, and then they also give you practice tests. So I've done all five practice tests and I passed them all. So I'm feeling pretty confident today. Now, in order to be commercially certified as a drone pilot, you gotta pass this test. You gotta make a 70% or better. Um, you've also got to be vetted by the TSA. So kind of like a background check. Now, the good thing is you can skip all airport security lines once you do. No, I'm just kidding. No, in all seriousness, I am really glad that all my arrests were made when I was a juvenile. But in all seriousness, I am, I am a bit nervous. Partially because it's 150 bucks every time you take it, and that's just pressure. Now, you can find a list of uh, approved FAA testing centers online. And so in North Carolina, the closest one was in Fayetteville, and they could take me today. It's pretty awesome. I called them a couple hours ago. It's just a small little country airport. I think it's like a small, small little runway, probably class G. <laughs> All she said that I needed to bring was a driver's license with my current accurate home address, as well as payment, you know, whether credit card or debit card. And there we go. Okay, yes. That is the smallest airport I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm guessing that central building. Okay, look, so it has a sign right there. FAA computerized written test center along with the phone number. So I guess I'll just uh, I guess I'll just go inside. Cool. Testing room, yeah. Probably won't let me in with the camera. I'm gonna probably uh, stop recording now and next time I see you I will have taken the test and will be either very happy or very upset. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Well guys, I just left the uh, testing facility and I, uh, I... I did it! I did it! I got the every navical knowledge exam, yeah! A little bit about what happened when I actually got inside the testing facility. Uh, I walked in with the woman who I called earlier. She basically signed me in, she asked for my driver's license and she asked for my current um, address and made sure that was on my driver's license. I also asked for some other uh, information. Took my credit card, we made payment right there. And then she actually took my phone and I had to put my phone in another room so that when I walked into the testing center, uh, I had no phone or any way of checking internet or whatever. I did go in with my own calculator, but I didn't realize she actually provided me a calculator, so I ended up using hers. Also, she supplied me with uh, pencils and scratch paper. Also, she supplied me with the FAA's Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement, so I was able to kind of page through that as I needed to brush up on some legends in there or to look at the figures that the different questions referred back to. The next step is to actually wait a couple days for this uh, test report to get into the FAA system. Because it's a weekend and a long weekend with um, the Martin Luther King um, Day on Monday, probably won't see anything until Tuesday or Wednesday, but anyway, after that, we get the screening done, we get the application processed, and everything's accepted. Hopefully by then, I will get the actual license or certificate in the mail. Also, with the Drone Pilot Ground School, they have a flight proficiency challenge, and once you pass that, you actually get a diploma with your name on it saying that you passed the course. So I did that this afternoon as well. I did it in my garage because the drone has to be set to ATTI mode as opposed to GPS mode. In order to get the uh, diploma, you also have to score 80% or higher on at least one practice test. Not really a problem for me because I took all five. 
An awesome bonus section for the Drone Pilot Ground School is there's actually an inside look at running an aerial service business. So it talks about drone laws and stuff and what you have to consider as a business owner, real estate marketing, um, all this stuff, liability, that's a big one. So I would suggest maybe uh, checking out that class if you guys like to. I am not paid to tell you that. I think it's actually a really good class. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. When I do get that certificate in the mail, I am gonna show it to you guys in a video so you can see what it looks like. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much it. It was a cool day, accomplished some stuff, and now I don't have to worry about studying anymore, and it's just a lot of stress off my mind. So anyway, wishing everyone luck who's going through that process or plans to. Uh, I wish you crash into a tree. That's like pilot version of break a leg, so. Subscribe to this channel so you can see when I get the certificate, I can show it to you. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys.